Dear brothers and sisters, today I want to say about what we can do to fight in this spiritual war that is uh, going on and uh, now we see it's getting worse, okay, the situation is getting worse. We receive uh, very strong hits, okay, one hit, just today I received the message with the list of all the priests who died from this uh, pandemic, okay. Um, and uh, the devil is trying to scare the church by uh, killing so many people, okay? You see, so many people have died from uh, this uh, pandemic. So you have to be in fear so that I can implement my future things that I want to do, okay? So this fear we have to withstand. We are not afraid of anything, okay, by faith. Okay. Uh, we are aware of the dangers of this uh, uh, pandemic, but we are not afraid of it and of devil. Okay, we will still be strong in spirit, and we will overcome all the challenges that are coming. Uh, we see this big hit uh, that's coming with this uh, split that they are trying to uh, make within the Orthodox Church. Okay, this is another big uh, hit impact of the devil, uh, this attack on the church. Uh, and this is also important uh, uh, crisis. In these times of uh, uh, war, these times of uh, uh, turmoil in the church, uh, we need to uh, know that uh, the Lord is allowing this to happen because of the spiritual problems that we have within the church. This is the main reason why we are, uh, we, uh, are getting uh, all these uh, hits, all these injuries, uh, and uh, we need uh, to uh, strengthen our faith, every one of us, the whole church, and every one of us can uh, make a big contribution, important contribution in overcoming all these challenges and becoming even stronger, okay? So uh, uh, today I want to say about uh, the problem of uh, too much uh, relying on some sacrificial and holy objects, uh, rites, rituals, and other things, okay? In the past I've talked about even bigger issue. We have not uh, have to re re remember that. The biggest problem is uh, lack of faith and a lack of uh, uh, interest in spiritual life, okay? Being lazy, spiritually uh, lazy and uh, idle and uh, uh, cold, uh, cold, okay, you know, or warm, okay, not hot. This is what uh, uh, Christ uh, is uh, telling to the uh, churches, that if you are still warm and not get, you won't get uh, hot, uh, I will, uh, destroy you. I will remove you from your place. Okay? You will lose everything. So this is a big uh, issue that uh, we have. This is the biggest issue. Nobody cares about spiritual life, about prayer. Okay? Not willing to put effort into fasting, okay? into reading the gospel, into a spiritual life. This is the biggest, the most important big problem that we have. And the second, uh, well not the second, but another problem is that uh, when we decide to uh, okay, be uh, spiritually active, okay, religiously active, we might get the wrong uh, guidance okay, and wrong examples okay, uh, that our efforts will be put in the wrong direction and we will also fail if we have that. And many people uh, get this wrong thing, wrong direction. This direction comes from paganism. Okay, that comes, that lives within every one of us. And uh, uh, as a pagan, well, everybody used to be pagans at some point, okay, worshiping idols. Uh, this comes from a man losing God. And uh, after Adam, uh, man lost heavens, lost uh, uh, God, lost paradise. And because of that, uh, there is this craving to, uh, to be again with God. Okay? And, uh, this uh, nostalgia um, is uh, um, realized through some holy objects. Okay? People get some holy object and it's related to God 
and he feels better. Okay, that okay. Now at least I have little relationship connection with God. Okay, so <clears throat> this is uh, where it's coming from. But uh, the problem is that this uh, pagan mindset is still alive within us. And we begin to think that this is very important. And we put too much emphasis on this, okay? Um, holy oil, um, so holy rope, okay, that we have uh, some objects, okay, holy uh, stuff from some monastery or from somewhere else, okay? <clears throat> um, and we think that, okay, like that, we sort of control this uh, the holy um, things, uh, grace, and it will be with us. And okay, this is um, a big issue that can uh, make the whole our whole relationship with God go astray, because uh, what the Lord wants from us is to have our hearts changed by faith, and. Uh, uh, this means that every day the faith is changing our life in some way. Okay, we are pushing ourselves, we are striving to follow Christ, to change the way we live, the, what we do, to get rid of some bad habits, of some passions. Okay, to okay, pray more. Okay, we force ourselves, we exert some uh, effort upon ourselves, and this is what is precious for the Lord. And, um, uh, and there, there is nothing wrong, of course, with having uh, icons and with having crosses and other th holy things and with pilgrimage, okay, <clears throat> going to some holy places. There is uh, nothing wrong with it as long as we keep the balance, as long as our priorities are set in the right way. And uh, the uh, highest priority for us is not to touch as many holy things as possible or to hang as many holy things as we can, uh, but, um, or to put as many candles as we can, you know. Um, the uh, most important thing for us is to change ourselves, as I said. And um, uh, I want to read um, uh, from uh, epistle of St. Apostle Paul to Hebrews. Uh, this is uh, chapter 11 from verse 33. Okay, uh, the, This is an example of people who, what they've done by faith, okay, and what we are expected by God to do by faith. Okay, So these people, through faith, they uh, through faith, subdued kingdoms, subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead raisin to life again and others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings yeah moreover of bonds and imprisonment they were stoned they were sawn asunder they were tempted were slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins being destitute, afflicted, tormented, uh, uh, of whom the whole world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good report through faith, okay, they, re they have received the, the good report uh, okay, the Lord said, yes, you've, you've done your job, okay, you passed. And this is what we need to see. And we think, oh, I cannot do this, this and that, and I am so limited with my abilities. They've subdued kingdoms, okay, and even armies of aliens, they chased away by faith, okay, not by any power, money, even influence, whatever, by faith. Faith is the greatest power that there is, okay, because... Uh, by faith, God is with us, and He does the, the job, okay? And we need to have this faith. And this is what we need to value the most, okay? 
And we see in the uh, early Christian church, okay, uh, those Christians, they did not hang crosses okay, outside and put any other things on their arms and, you know, uh, or special clothes, no, um, <coughs> to show that they're Christians. But everybody knew that these guys, they are Christians, okay, because their, their hearts are full of love, because they live in another way because it's shining from their faces, their faith. And this is, uh, was obvious for others, okay? But we, now, nowadays Christians, very often we become hypocrites, okay? We want to show, okay, I have some good things, I go to some holy place and whatever, uh, and we sort of use this as a proof, okay? While inside we have completely different thing, okay? And this is hypocrisy, okay? When inside you're not Christians, uh, you don't have Christ living in you, but you try to persuade everybody, yes, I'm Christian. Okay? So this is a big uh, problem that uh, we are we're having in the church, inside the church, and we need to do something about it on a daily basis. Okay? On a daily basis, we need to exert some effort and say, okay, today, by faith, what have I done by faith? Okay? Have I uh, forgiven uh, some enemy or have I... Um, served clients on the job in a Christian way with love, have I done something by faith today? And if not, we go and do it. Okay? May God help you, give you this power of faith. We need to always have this uh, task. Okay, my faith, I want to have it stronger. I want to have a burning heart that is uh, full of faith. And uh, I am not just okay, squeezing it out from myself. I'm asking Lord to give it to me as a gift, to grant it to me. And uh, I'm doing everything possible to please my Lord and to do this testimony of his love to everybody around me. I mean, may Lord help you and give you this um, eagerness, this uh, bravery to go and change everything around you by faith to become stronger and thereby the whole church will get stronger. May Lord help you and bless you. I mean.